Hello. Hi everyone. Good morning. As part of the today's lecture, we are going to study what is the configuration that it is required for us to work on this UI automation testing. If you have already worked on Selenium or Karate API testing in your machine, then your system is up and good enough for us to work on a UI automation testing also. You no need to do any configuration explicitly. But if you haven't done any automation testing in your machine, then these are the things that you need to download. You need to download Java 8 or above. Recently, you can download a Java 17 or Java 20th, whichever it might be. Download it and install it. Okay, once after you download it and you install Java, then you need an editor in order to write down your source code, right? We need an editor in order to write down our source code. The basic editor that we are using here in order to write down our source code is Eclipse Editor. So you can download an Eclipse Editor to your machine and you need to download and install Maven to your machine. Apart from that, for your Eclipse editor, you need to install a Cucumber Naturals plugin so that the Cucumber feature files, whatever you are creating, would be of a proper syntax. That's the only thing that you need to do. Apart from that, in your Eclipse editor, you can create a Maven project. So considering that these are the basic prerequisites that everyone does has already installed in your machine i'm directly going to my eclipse editor and i'm creating a maven project for my karate framework so go to eclipse editor file new others and here i'm choosing a maven based project so this is the maven project that i'm choosing right now and then once after we got all the catalogs here, okay, so all the artifacts, IDs, whatever we got, then we can search for karate from this. Okay, whenever you search for karate, automatically, whichever the things that are related to karate will be populated. See here, com dot inch dot karate, which is a karate 1.4.0. That's why I'm choosing this next button. And then after choosing that, give a group ID. So com dot scripts and I'm naming a artifact ID as a Karate UI, which itself means I'm giving my project name as a Karate UI. As in when you clicked on that particular finish, automatically a new Java based or a Maven project got created. So it's downloading all the artifacts or I can say it's downloading all the jar files. So, you know, it's creating a Maven based project. Still, the percentage is a 10 percentage itself. Okay, the percentage of a completion is a 10 percentage itself. So I'm going to ambientrepository.com and I'm searching for karate. So for this karate, you have a karate core, karate Apache, karate JUnit 4 or a JUnit 5. You can choose either of these things, JUnit 4 or a JUnit 5. So I'll be choosing karate core, Apache, and a JUnit 4, all these are three things. I just want to do only these are three things itself. It's a creating a Maven based project. It will take some time. Usually, a question that comes in our mind, Surendra, can't I create a Java project and directly manage my dependencies? Of course, you can create a Java project or you can also create this karate project. So whenever you have a created this a karate project, what it will happen means if you see the folder structure, a sample feature file, a sample runner class, a karate configuration file, everything will be auto populated. And whenever you created a Java class, you won't get that a Java project. You won't get that information. That's the reason go with this particular version itself or go with this particular Eclipse editor creation of a karate project directly rather than going with a normal chunk that's fine and as it is a maven based project in the pom.xml it has a dependencies where in which whatever the dependencies you have specified it will download all the dependencies from the maven central repository so here let me go to karate core first and the Karate Core version here is 1.4, 1.1 and 0 0.96. So let me open this 0 
I'll show you the reason why I'm opening with the 0 0.96 Surendra. Why can't you go with any other versions? So come back to this Karate. Let me open this Apache. This Apache is having a 0 0.96 version. That's the reason to maintain everything in a stable pace. That's the reason I'm going with Karate Core as a 0 0.96 and Karate Apache also as a 0 0.96. Copy this version, the dependency content completely, paste it in the dependency. I placed a Karate Apache and now I need to place the content of a Karate Core and then we need to place the content of a Karate J unit, whether it is a J unit 4 or a J unit 5. In the current situation, I'm going with the J unit 4 itself. And here also, as I have an Apache and a core on a 0 0.96 version, so I'm going with this as a 0 0.96 version itself. Copy this and update this particular thing. So whenever I have updated this instance, you know, it's trying to download the complete jar files. Okay, whichever the dependencies are there, it's trying to download all the dependencies into this particular machine. Okay, it's trying to download all the dependencies into this machine. Perfect. So the runner class, it's getting failed. The reason is by default, the Karate runner was on a J unit 5. And we removed that J unit 5 and we placed J unit 4. So let me delete this content. Let me delete this import file. Perfect. And now if you open the feature file which it was created, see basically it has the API related URLs. See basically it has the API related URLs. Okay, that's fine. With which I can say that, okay, so the complete Karate configuration is done. So guys, if you don't have a Java installed, download, go to Java official website, download Java 17th and download Eclipse Editor. And on top of the Eclipse Editor, install a Kukumbo Naturals plugin to your editor and then follow this particular step that we have a seen right now. And this test is getting failed. Again, this is on a J unit 5. Hence, I am deleting the J unit 5 related information from my project. Then immediately a question that comes in your mind, Surendra, how are you going to execute it you removed the content from the runner class that we will see moving ahead as of now in the session we have a seen a configuration moving ahead we will see how exactly we can create a program and how exactly we can run a basic program that we will see moving ahead let's do it in the next session okay good enough done the deal see you again in the next session thank you goodbye